There's a parable in the Bible where the Lord, where a rich man says, he has so much rich granary. He wants to make two, three, four barns. And he said, oh my soul, you are so rich. You have plenty of food for second, third, fourth generations. And that night he had a dream. In the dream God spoke, you fool. Tonight you will die. Then for whom is all this wealth? For whom? direction you go there's nothing you can bring except yourself but the Lord Jesus said you can transfer your wealth to heaven by giving away to the poor when you give to the poor when you bless the poor when you bless the underprivileged you wipe away the tears of a hungry person Built a home, built a well for the underprivileged people. Buy a pair of shoes for the poor person who have no shoes on their feet. Instead of amassing so many shoes for yourself in your wardrobe, you are saving for yourself treasures. That's where your goal is, right? So that's where your if if you feel your future is in heaven then start investing in heaven not on this earth Built an empire. You built an empire, it will be like the sin of Nebuchadnezzar. In Daniel chapter 4, Nebuchadnezzar knows too well that God raised him up and gave him power to conquer nations. So much so, he built the Babylonian Empire. He knows very well because he had a wonderful counselor in the form of the prophet Daniel and the prophet Daniel had counseled him previously that it was God who lifted him up it was God who appointed him the kingdom so Nebuchadnezzar knows it too well but then at the height of his popularity his vast kingdom pride began to blossom in him and God warned him don't walk in pride but he did not pay heed to that. Exactly 12 months to the date when God first warned him. The scripture says he walked on the rooftop of his palace 
and he looked at all the beauties of his palace and babylon was famous for the hanging gardens of nebuchadnezzar's palace he looked at all the beauty and he looked at all the fortunes that he has amassed and he said this is my great babylon that i have made the moment he said that a voice came from heaven because fail to humble yourself therefore from this day the kingdom is taken away from your hand instantly he was transformed totally from a man to a wild bird his entire body dna was all changed not for one day or two days for seven long years he was like a wild bird out in the fields eating grass like all animals and birds 7 years that was the length of his punishment at the end of the 7th year the bible says his mind was restored back to him and he was transformed back to a man and the first thing he did was he knelt down lifted up his hands and gave glory to god for 7 years of imprisonment he realized god is god no matter how great nebuchadnezzar was how great alexander the great was all that came from god you should never never forget that the bible says it is god who gives you well It is God who gives you the ideas to create wealth, to get wealth. It's God who gave all that, not you. It is God who gave you the wisdom to invest wisely, so that you can make returns. Not for you to build an empire, but for you to bless the works of God, for you to bless the poor. That's the purpose. not for you to hoard up wealth for second third fourth generation if you do that you will die suddenly before you can even make a will how do i know that the lord jesus christ himself said that there's a parable in the bible where the lord where a rich man says he has so much rich granary he wants to make two three four barns and he said oh my soul you are so rich You have plenty of food for second, third, fourth generations. That night he had a dream. The dream God spoke. You fool! Tonight you will die. Then for whom is all this wealth? God gives you wealth not for you, for you to be a conduit to bless the poor. When you do that. You are saving for yourselves riches in heaven.
Boom! <laughs>